Matt Bowes, Regional Agronomist with 360 Yield Center here today, standing in front of the corn head. I wanted to go over a couple of things that I've uh, learned as best practices over the uh, past two to three years running chain roll on the corn head. The first one is uh, most common, one of the most common mistakes is left and right of the roll. So as you sit in the combine seat, you'll notice on the tip of the, the chain roll there is an R and an L. As you sit in the combine seat, the R goes on the right, the L goes on the left. They will let you install them uh, backwards. I learned this last year the hard way, made a mistake, got them switched around. What happens instead of the augers pulling in, the augers push out, and when you get to drier corn, you'll actually push stalks forward rather than pull them in. So that's uh, chain roll tip number one. Uh, learned the hard way myself. The second one, and probably the most uh, common, you know, rare occurrence that, that I run into is when people install chain roll onto their head, they get them on, they get them lined up, get them seated, tightened up, start the head up, and they hear a tinging, like a wine glass. And what this is, is small imperfections in the laser cladding on top of the, the cutting flutes typically are just barely touching one another. So as these flutes come together, they are cupping one another, and if there is any imperfection in that laser cladding initially, you can get that wine glass tingy. The best way to cure this is simply to take a grinder and take a little shave on that. To identify where that spot is, the most uh, my, my best solution is to take some black spray paint, spray paint the cutting flutes, turn it on, listen to the tinging, go back and you'll see where that paint's been rubbed off. You'll be able to take and shave that off and things will be perfect. Chain roll requires tight tolerances and, and every, every one of the eight cutting flutes on it has tight tolerances in order to get the proper uh, chaining of the material and sizing of the material. And for this reason, with those tight tolerances, any change in either the cladding of the chain rolls or if you have a tweak in your corn head from years of use, uh, the occasional uh, steel post, uh, whatever it may be, or just some of the big heads have a lot of flex in them, they will end up giving you this, this phenomenon. So with that, those are the two most common things I run into. Just wanted to give you my suggestions on how to make sure that you can avoid them and end up with a very successful uh, year with 360 chain rule.